It's been almost three years since the Quest 2 was released. And since then, I've accumulated a lot of accessories. Stuff like head straps, palm grips, and gun stocks. Hell, I even have controller weights just in case you wanted to build some muscle in VR. My box full of accessories is probably no different to some of you, and the truth is, I had forgotten that I had some of this crap laying around. Which brings me to the point of this video. Is there anything in this plastic filled box worth buying for the upcoming Quest 3? And what type of accessories will I avoid with the new hardware so I don't have another box of plastic sh laying around in three years? All right, I think the best way to do this is for me to just reach in and then we'll just see what we have. So let's go in. Okay, straight off the gate, we have these Hello Real. Oh my gosh, these are atrocious. This is the Hello Real Pro Slide. The, the, the words are saying Pro Slide on the side. So essentially you stick your Quest controller into here and then it acts as like a gun. It's just a plastic housing just for that extra immersion, shall we say. These are just there for maybe the YouTube thumbnail, pretty much. I don't remember exactly how much they were, but they were definitely not worth it. And there is a compartment up at the top here and you can actually put coins into the top. So it just adds to the weight to the actual gun, which I think is actually a neat idea if you're looking for something like this. But the problem with this is that it's all made out of 3D plastic and it's just poorly printed. At least the one I got was poorly printed. When you try and put a controller in here and I'll try and show you, but I don't really want to push it <laughs> in too much because all these edges are fairly sharp. They're all fairly sharp and you're kind of worried when the controller is in there and you want, kind of want to jam it in there as well. It doesn't just fit smoothly in. So as soon as I tried this a couple of times, I immediately stopped using it. Definitely wasn't worth the price. Sure, if you're a TikToker, this might look cool, you know, doing a bit of Lara Croft or something like this. But for me, absolutely not. So these are trash. Don't buy these for your Quest 3 at all. On the other hand, if you do want these kind of guns, then definitely go for the ones that I pick out here. These are the AMVR guns. So these work pretty much identical to the to the ones, although these aren't 3D printed. I don't know how these are made, some sort of mold or such, but everything is just so much smoother. The controllers fit in nice and flush. Uh, the buttons work, like there's a button at the top here, so you remove the top part of the gun. That's just to secure your controller in once it's in. And that just works, like the button just works. It's like proper plastic that just works rather than just be 3D printed in one shell, which is kind of tight and finicky. Go for the MVR, but really, do you really need these blaster guns? No, absolutely not. All right, let's see what else we've got in here. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna bring these both out. These are both Hello Real golf clubs. I actually did a video on both of these on my YouTube channel if you wanna check those out. I'll focus more on the newer one. This one that I'm just putting down is the older one that's discontinued. So let's not talk about that one. This is the Hello Real Pro Swing Plus, I believe. So this also has the grip to put attachment on it. It has a weight on this and this is for golf. Okay, if you didn't guess that already, this is for golf. This can be, it's, it can be used for walkabout and they just did a walkabout special edition version of this actually, which is pretty nice. It's fairly expensive, but honestly, this works best for golf plus for your s full swing games. And honestly, if you play golf plus, I would recommend this club. And unlike the blasters that Hello Real have done, this is actually built really nice. We've got a clever mechanic up here, which you can go see in the in the video where I describe how it's actually cleverly designed to keep your controller in. And the grip to put works great if you wanted to use that. And the actual golf grip feels pretty good too. It's a little sticky, but hey, at least it's grippy <laughs> in that case. And the weight is quite nice, especially for golf plus and maybe walk about less so. But yeah, this is really well built overall. The grip to put's a little bit finicky, but it does work. Apart from that, everything else is really well built. But yeah, I would recommend this. I don't play enough Golf Plus, to be honest, to warrant buying this for the Quest 3. If I had to buy a new and adapter, I don't know if I would do. But for those of you who do, definitely get this accessory. This is pretty nice. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got more sports accessories. I think this is actually the last sports accessory. And this is a paddle 
by AMVR again, same people who did those guns, but this is fantastic. My 11 table tennis skills were pretty poor. I'm not very good at table tennis in real life, but as soon as I held this handle with the controller in, it felt so much better to, to navigate the shots and such. And this is amazing for 11 table tennis. This is amazing for golf plus. So if you play either one of these games, get one of these, they're fantastic. Also the Hello Real golf club is quite expensive, but this I think is dead cheap and it is just a piece of plastic. But this you can get from Amazon for probably like $15, $20. Ball parking here, I can't exactly remember. I bought this way, <laughs> way back in the day. But yeah, I would recommend this if you play 11 table tennis. This really helped my game. All right, we got a little bag here with some frankincense in or such. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. In fact, I know exactly what's in here. These, these are actually weights that attach to the end of your Quest 2 controllers. Now this won't be Quest 3 compatible because it uses the, the IR ring just to connect these onto the Quest 2 controllers, but these add a weight, I think up to 100 grams per controller, and they're designed for VR fitness apps, okay? So if you wanna add a little bit more resistance to your training, you can spin the bottom out and you can adjust the weights. They're just, I think they're 25 grams. They were fine, they were okay. Just using the wrist straps with this, there's a lot of tension that happens on your wrist and it's actually quite not nice, but I would recommend if you were to buy something like this, there are better alternatives and I'll talk about that in a second, but if you were to buy this particular one, you'll definitely need the palm strap, what you would call them, for this. Now, as alternatives, instead of buying these, which just add weight right to the end, it's better just to buy some classic wrist weights. These are not just for the quest, you can buy these for fitness activities in general, like Pilates, I think it's what it's meant for, the main, main draw, as well as yoga, but they just go on your wrist and they add weights to your wrist and it's way better on your wrist than having this, this weight on the end of a controller. So this is fun, I feel like Kiwi, made all sorts of accessories for the Quest 2. All sorts, they tried absolutely everything. So it's a fair shout at trying to improve the weight to burn a little bit more calories in the fitness, but wouldn't recommend these as much. All right, next we have some face covers. Now these both actually, I use both of these. So this is the VR cover, face cover. The, when you buy a VR cover, they come with two. I have the thicker version on my Quest, but this is the thinner version. This is memory foam, kind of like a leather, yeah, it's a bit like a leather on top, but with a memory foam. It's not for everyone, but I think most people prefer this over the stock Quest face cover. And I feel like you won't need to buy this immediately at Quest 3 launch. Definitely test out if they've improved the Quest 3 face cover. But if it's anything like the Quest 2 one, then you'd probably want to improve the comfort of it. And I would recommend VR cover. And they're the ones I've been using and they've been fantastic. On the other side though, is that this is the supernatural it's a bit gross looking, I'm not gonna lie, but this is the Supernatural rubber face cover, but this fits actually over the top of the VR cover. And the reason why is this, this, this is actually meant, I mean, you can see it's branded Supernatural. This is meant for fitness because it's, it's better for sweat. With this leather one, you're gonna be, it's gonna get hot a little bit more and it will capture the sweat more, where this will help get rid of your sweat and also, it's easy to clean because you just whip it off and you just rinse it over the tap as well. So it's nice to clean and it saves you from having to tear off the VR cover just to clean it when you could just had this on top and then it, that solves that problem. So I would recommend this. You can buy alternative ones from, I know Meta have their own kind of version which doesn't go on the top. This actually just fits onto the Quest. But I would recommend this one, even if you use a different app like FitXR and such, Get this one from Supernatural, it's on their website. They gave all members for free. This cover was like a promotion back in the day, but I think it's around $10 if that, and it's well worth it if you're planning to do any fitness in VR. Let's have a look here. We have we have some cardboard boxes in here now. So this is the VR Wave, and I remember exactly what this is. Let me just open that. So it's a big box, but in the end of the day, it just it's just this little pouch, which is quite nice. So these are prescription lenses. Now these are the VR Wave ones. Do I have them in here? Yeah, perfect. 
So they come in this nice little case, which is which is cool if you need to carry it around. I mean, normally it would just be on your quest, but it's kind of nice that they put this in. Now, you can buy a whole range of VR prescription lenses, okay? And you can even get some off Meadows' website. They partnered with, with a specific company, I forget. And that's the one I bought first. But the issue with that one is that it clips onto your Quest 2. And then say if you are wearing contact lenses or you're giving it to someone who doesn't, obviously doesn't have your prescription, you'd have to clip them off and the plastic around it was very weak. Now, the great thing about VR Wave is that they actually come in two pieces. So you can see you have one piece that actually fits on the actual Quest 2 and another piece which fits on top and they, they're held together by magnets. So the nice thing about this is that you can always leave this magnetic shell on the Quest at all times. And say you're in those scenarios where you need contact lenses or such, you just get one of these and just snap them on. You just literally snap them on with magnets. Really handy, and then obviously will stop them from breaking, which my original meta ones did break eventually. But these are fantastic. These were sent to me by VR Wave to try out, but I would highly recommend. And plus they have this carrying case, which is, is kind of nice. We have a few more left, and we'll get this one first. This is from Kiwi Design. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. These these are fantastic. So this is the Grip Pro uh, by Kiwi Design. And essentially, these are just grip covers for your Quest 2. But the reason why they're called Pro is because they have a few features. So one of them is that they actually extend the length of your Quest 2 controller because the Quest 2 controllers are small and so the Quest Pros and probably the Quest 3 is probably the same size. The Kiwi Pro covers increase the length so it's just a bit more ergonomic especially for people with a bit bigger hands. Way more ergonomic and way more comfortable to hold in your hand. Now also they have this beautifully padded palm strap as well which just fits really nicely and that actually goes perfect with the VR weights that I showed you earlier and it's so comfortable and they are called pro because the, the, the materials feel very premium. Silicon strap, it kind of reminds me of if you had overhead headphones and these, this will be the strap which is on top of your head. Really nice, really nice. And they just clip in at the top there to hold your control in the space. And that's not all. They also have a battery door, so you don't have to take them off every time you need to remove the battery. You just remove the door and you can, you got access right there. And these are actually amazing. Kiwi sent me these and they were fantastic. The only reason why I don't use them is, it's a bit of a weird reason, but it's just because I have the official carrying case from Meta and they don't fit these. <laughs> There's, these are too long to fit inside the official carrying case. So that's the only reason why I don't use them, which is a bit silly in the end of the day. Thinking about it, this was, I should have used this way more because they're so much nicer, so much better for fitness games, but just better for VR games in general. Having to hold them with the wrist strap does get uncomfortable at times where having it just on your palm, it's so much more comfortable and you can just let your hands loose. And also one thing with the Quest 3, you'll be able to use hand tracking as well as using the controller. So if you needed to use your finger to like point at a menu, you can do without having to use your controller to navigate the menu. So this will be great too because it keeps all of your fingers free so you can use that hand tracking aspect. In fact, Meta should have this kind of, you know, grip strap included in the box for sure. We'll get more people using hand tracking in conjunction with the controllers, I think. Okay, so that's the Kiwi grips. We have another thing for Kiwi. Let's see what's in this box. It's like a big unboxing now. <laughs> Ah yes, this is the Pro Strap from Kiwi. This looks very similar to an Elite Strap by Meta. Now everyone knows, well, people who were early to the Quest 2 knows that the Elite Strap snapped very often. It was very weak on the sides and mine actually eventually slapped too when I just, I just took it off and it just popped. Not very good. And since Meta sent me a second Elite Strap, that's been flawless, it's been absolutely fine, but it is still thin material, but it has been fine. Kiwi came out with their own Elite Strap, and this is way more sturdier. Comfort levels is very similar. I would say the leather on the top and on the sides are a little bit more comfortable than the, than the Meta Quest Elite Strap. And in fact, to be honest, 
Once again, I think I would prefer going with something like this than the official one due to how how much better the padding is all around the sides. <laughs> Once again, I didn't use this one because it wouldn't fit in my official carrying case. So that's why I never use this one. But if you're looking for an alternative strap than the Elite strap, definitely look at Kiwi. You've got Bobo VR, which is also a very popular company. In fact, when you're getting a Quest 3, sure, Meta are gonna have, they're probably gonna have an Elite strap, but the third party straps, I think, are gonna be a better decision because they're gonna be the same price, if not less. And they're gonna be designed, I think, more with the consumer in mind. So, so yeah, this was a nice strap in the end of the day, but once again, I did not use it. <laughs> All right, okay, so we have the last two here. So here we have another box. This time it's not from Kiwi. All right, so this is the ProTube by ProTube. <laughs> This is by a company called ProTube VR, and this is essentially a gun stock. So if I hold it where the gun would be, this will be where my quest controllers are, and I can, you know, <laughs> shoot and such. This was sent to me by ProTube. I actually never got around to doing a video, but it's really well built, and it's more for people who want to play like games like Pavlov, Onward, you know, there's more games that suit this are probably on PC VR, but this definitely works for Quest 2 with a, with a few games too. Definitely check ProTube's website um, for compatible games. But this is just a really nicely made gunstock. It's made from, at least it looks like carbon fiber. I don't know if that's just a pattern, but it is incredibly light. What I like about it too, let's just think about this front controller. So in a lot of VR games, you have to do some manual reloading, okay? You can do automatic, but that's not the point for VR. You can actually snap this off and you could do some reloading because it is just held by magnets, which is really nice. But you could just snap it off, do your reload and push it back in. It's nice, a nice idea. I actually never really used this. I tried to get it working with Medal of Honor, but it was a bit too finicky for me. Yeah, not for me but a really nice accessory and a really well-designed one. And I would recommend if you were playing Onward all the time or Pavlov all the time, definitely look into this if you want an alternative gun stock. This is much better than buying like those Hello Real or the AMVR like guns or something just for immersion. Like this is actually going to be for esports and such. So definitely go for this if you're into that. For me, I'm not going to bother with anything like this. I think the main things for me so far is probably the golf clubs and the and the grips, to be honest. And then finally, oh, this is not really an accessory, but this is a nice package from Smash Drums. So this was sent to me by the developer of Smash Drums. He actually wrote a nice little, nice little note there. And this was the first ever like special edition box that I ever got or sent from somebody, which was really nice. And you see, I've not really touched it, but these drumsticks here are actually pencils. Then you have all these like magnetic pins. And then this one's also a bottle cap remover as well. And then you've got a nice little notebook here. But this was a lovely gift that was given and not an accessory at all, but hey, it was in the box. All right, so there we have it. This is all the bits and plastic that I've collected over the last three years. A lot sent by VR companies. Thank you everyone so who did send them in, but also some that I've actually paid for. Like I, I bought these hella real pieces of junk. <laughs> Overall, just looking at this, I think these the, the VR cover and the Supernatural, I would definitely buy again. I would buy the, the grips, the, the palm grips again. And I would probably, maybe look into this. This would probably just fit the Quest 3, to be honest, if it's the same shape at the bottom. Actually, no, because this top part it actually clips to the clips to the ring of the Quest 2. So maybe I don't mind spending 20 bucks on this if I'm going to get into some 11 table tennis. But that's about it, to be honest. Let me know in the comments below if you've got a bunch of accessories that you bought and are just collecting dust, or is there any accessories that you bought for Quest 2 that you're like, yes, I'm definitely going to buy this again or upgrade them for the Quest 3. Like for one for me, which I didn't show on this video because it's not in the box, is the Elite Strap, Meta's version of 
a better strap compared to their stock one that they give. I'm definitely going to buy a better strap. They've once again, the stock one looks like it's just some some fabric and such. So I'm definitely going to look into the Bobo M2 because they have removable battery packs, which look like a cool idea. So let me know if you have one of those and what your experiences is for that as well. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you next week for another video.